SaaS users, it's Allison and Al, and we are back with another new innovative SaaS feature to tell you about. We've not seen anything like this out there. I believe this is going to be something that you will very instantaneously realize uh, what a time saver it'll be, how much it will continue to simplify your sourcing analysis. So let's let Al take it away. What is this amazing new feature, Al? Hi, folks. Yeah, what we've launched now is what's called SaaS Smart Search, which basically, when you're on a, a products page on any website, do a smart search, and we will do a search for what we think that page is related to. So easiest way is doing a quick example. Yes. So I'll go to my two favorite things, like Star Wars and Lego. So we scroll down, we'll do the R2-D2. I go to R2D2 on the Lego site, do a smart search, which is right click SAS smart search. And then it comes up like the first result is the R2D2 Lego product. Wow. So you didn't even have to highlight text or anything like that? No, all, all, you can either do it via the button in the Chrome toolbar or like you right click and just, just from the menu. Wow. So if I just Scroll down to a sort of different product. We'll do the Stormtrooper Battle Pack. So all this is now, right click, SAS Smart Search. And there it is, it's, I say, the first result. Wow, so it really is just speeding up that process when you're using the extension and you're out there on these other e-commerce sites. Um, I suppose you can use it on Amazon as well? Yeah, on Amazon, again, be relevant to what the pages that you're looking at. We'll just go on to like this Amazon page. We've got a product. Again, right click, smart search. And that comes up for that actual product. Okay. Now, if you're on like um, a different page, say we're searching, what's it like a storefront search? Let me look for a pretty big storefront. Like, Go on to this one. So we're on somebody's storefront. Doing a right click, SAS Smart Search. We'll do the actual storefront search. Wow. As you, in SAS, so you've got like your, your brands and the categories, etc. Right there. And so so it, it's it's saving you, it's saving a click or two, isn't it? In the whole process. Yeah. Like say we're doing a search on Amazon for I'll do Playmobil as normally I'll search for Star Wars or Lego. And again, just doing a SAS smart search on here, it shows you like the, the Playmobil search ah, as well. Okay, okay. So it's an easier way to, when you're specifically looking at brands, say, it's a great way to just pull them all up at once. Um, when you're looking at a storefront, it's a really great way to launch the awesome SAS storefront search feature. Or if you're on a product page, obviously launching into your product analysis straight is straight from uh, straight from that single click. Yeah, because I so if I'm on sort of the Argos, go into any any product on Argos. And I, I can do it with the I've got a keyboard shortcut as well, and that will just like launch so searching for the products that you're most probably looking for. That's great. Um, so, and we'll, we'll, we'll make another brief video about the, about the keyboard shortcut, by the way, for those that aren't familiar with how to set those up. Yeah, let me do a quick one on Tesco. I way really before you use this is I look at the special offers, anything that looks exciting. Oh, well, yeah, Hellman's vegan mayonnaise. Looks very exciting. Um, but all, all you, like, what you can do, you can just click on the SAS logo in the toolbar. There we go. Not okay. the most profitable okay. products, but. <laughs> so, so it really is helping narrow, well, it's helping speed things up, as we said, but it's also helping you get to the right product even quicker, isn't it? Yeah, because what, what we do, we, we, we use information from the page that you're looking at to do the search. So different sites display different things and we, we optimize for the different sites. Oh, okay. Um, what a great what a great idea. 
So I think one thing that people will probably ask is uh, use of the Chrome extension and the right clicking previously versus now with Smart Search. Um, do you want to kind of show us what the benefit of Smart Search is going to be versus the previous way of doing things? Okay, well, this is a, a good example again on the Lego website with the Millennium Falcon. Because previously with the right click search, you'd be searching on the text. So you'd be searching on Millennium Falcon or Millennium Falcon. And these are two very different models. So if I go into the more expensive one, if I do, if you do the select the text, do the right click, we do the SAS search on it, we can see. The one that's coming up is only 150, whilst we're looking at a 700 pound Lego set. So even though they look pretty similar, they're not going to be the same. And when you did further analysis, you'd see the difference. Like now if, you, if you do a right click and do a SAS smart search on this, instead of just searching for the Millennium Falcon, it's also searching for the model number. So looking at the results here, it's actually the, the third one down, like the first one, it's slightly different. It's got whether actually it might be the same one actually. Yeah, I think it is. So, but so this is one of those products which has multiple listings for the same product. So by doing a search like this, you're seeing all the listings. And like a, a lot depends on different different websites. Like some websites doing search just for, the, for like a title like that, like, they'll find it fine. But other ones, your smart search will do you search for a bit more extra information which gives you a better chance of finding the actual product that you're looking for. And it's worth mentioning that over time, smart search will get more intelligent, won't it? Well, yes, it, it, smart search is pretty smart now, but over time it'll get smarter. Right. Like, like another good example, like with, with Star Wars, like if a search for the at -at, do again, doing the right click on the link, like at -at's pretty, there's quite a few different sorts of at -at's. Like looking here, it is the second one if you just search for at -at. But if we actually go into the product and do the smart search, what we're seeing now is it's, yeah, it's the first product that's coming back. All right, that is um, quite a feature, Al. Uh, I think it's just in time for everybody to kick off their 2022 sourcing and uh, help speed things up a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it, it does. It, it makes it it's, it's faster and more accurate than sort of selecting text and doing the right click and searching that text. Just doing a smart search, it's a it's single click and, and it's more accurate as well. It, we, we're searching for more information. And will people still be able to use the traditional method of right click and, and searching on text? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. So you, you can still do a right click searching on searching on links searching on yeah, searching on links so boutique hotel this is a good example searching for a boutique hotel yeah it doesn't find the boutique hotel logo set funnily enough yeah now yeah. if i go into the boutique hotel uh, it's a new product so it might not be on amazon yet but we'll try it do a, a sort of SAS smart search for that okay you, you can see that it's searching for the set number the Lego set number, it's not found it yet because I don't think it is on Amazon as yet, but that would be one of the ways where it would be much better searching for that, the smart search, than just doing a standard right click. On a, on a boutique hotel terminology. Okay, okay, good. Um, so anything else that you'd like to chime in on as far as smart search, what else they might need to know? When is it gonna be available? How do they access it? Yeah, it's, it's available now. You need to have a latest version of the Chrome extension, which is 0 0.38 or higher. And if they don't um, know how to, if somebody doesn't know how, if uh, if somebody doesn't know how to update their extension, best way to do that, go to selleramp.com slash extension, just reload it. Yeah, that, that's the easiest way to explain. Yeah. Yeah. But like it's 0 0.38 and what I'm finding nowadays is Chrome does update your extensions pretty regularly yeah. or automatically. If, if ever in doubt, though, the easiest way to know if you got it is just doing a right click to see if it's uh, to see yeah. if it's in your menu there. Yeah, so. when, when you do the right click, you'll see the SAS Smart Search. Perfect. Okay. All right. On that note, uh, I think we will let these folks go play around with Smart Search. Uh, certainly hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, 
or at support at selleramp.com if you do have any questions, everybody. We'd love to hear your feedback on, on Smart Search and um, see what you think. So on that note, happy searching, everybody. Cheers, folks. Bye.